News of the mouse plague didn't give you nightmares, this next story might do the trick. It hasn't just been people seeking higher ground during the floods. One family on the mid-north coast has been overrun by thousands of spiders. It's an arachnophobe's nightmare. <laughs> Matt Lovenfoss's back fence has become a makeshift refuge for thousands of spiders escaping the floods. Probably three days ago they started to come in towards the house and then, yeah, I think yesterday is when they got up on the fence. Not a worry for his two-year-old Remy. Similar scenes have been reported across the north coast. A more serious concern, funnel webs. When we experience these wet conditions, on top of that, some warm conditions that are predicted, you'll start to see male funnel web spider activity increase dramatically. Rescue crews too have had to deal with added dangers. One raft near Port Macquarie has had some extra passengers. After they had uh, they gathered the family from the house, uh, it was noticed there was a couple of snakes which had made their way into that dry place. A more weighty danger at the Hunter Valley Zoo. I was amazing. It's like watching a bathtub fill up. It started pouring in from the National Park end. And then from there, you could literally watch our alligator lagoon fill and fill. Zoo keepers had to fend off the residents as they cleared debris to prevent the fence from collapsing. But we were concerned when we got a few heavy downpours overnight where naturally it's, it's unsafe enough to get into the lagoon into your, up to your knees during the day, but it's just not even an option to get into the lagoon during the night when you can't keep an eye on all the gators. As the waters recede, so too hopefully will the flood of visitors. Rani Sadler, ABC News. Graham Creed's here now with the weather.